Hello and thank you for watching my video. As always, please like and subscribe and if you have some comments of what you liked or what you would like me to cover, please add them in the comments. Today I'm going to be going over using the API feature to grab all the leases that exist in each scope from a Windows DHCP server and push them into PHP IPAM. I do this through a PowerShell script that automates the integration between Microsoft Windows DHCP server and the PHP IPAM address management system. This, is, this script performs the following tasks. It retrieves DHCP leases by connecting to the Windows DHCP server and retrieves all active IPs from each DHCP scope, including details such as the IP address, host name, and MAC address. It then uses subnet matching in PHP IPAM for each IP lease. The, scope, the script performs a lookup in PHP IPAM to determine the matching subnet. It calculates the appropriate range using the IP address and subnet match, mask matching the IP to a subnet in PHP IPAM. As an optional item, I've included a ping command in the script to perform a host check to confirm if the IP address is online. If enabled, only IPs that respond to the ping are processed or added to PHP IPAM. Uh, let's see here. When updating PHP IPAM, if the so the logic that I'm using is when updating PHP IPAM, if the IP address is not found in PHP IPAM, the script adds the IP along with its associated details of the hostname, MAC address, and description to the correct subnet and PHP IPAM. If the IP exists, so you're running this for a second time, but the MAC address has changed, the old entry is deleted and the new entry is added, keeping PHP IPAM up to date with the DHCP server's lease information. Logging. Uh, I have included a lot of logging for all actions and it's recorded to both the console and optionally to the log file for auditing or troubleshooting purposes. Finally, this script can be run manually or as a scheduled task in Windows Task Scheduler. It handles large volumes of DHCP leases efficiently with optional features like the host and ping check, host ping checks, and obviously the audit for auditing purposes. Now, I want to point out if you do do that, the ping check consumes a lot of time. So just keep that in mind. Uh, important note, like in my previous video, if this script needs to be run in PowerShell, at least 5.1, and in administrator mode. Um, let me get this open, bring it over. So. That's the previous lease to bring in the scopes. This one's the new one. So in this demo, you can see I already have these items and I can validate that. So we'll go over here real fast to API. You see that I have the PowerShell API. And for this, I have section eight. So you should see down here, uh, I set it to eight. A uh, few things to note, description prefix is imported from there, um, use full host name. Uh, so this is like, uh, we'll say machine.example.com and then the check host. That was the part about the ping test. I'm not going to run it uh, and I'm not going to do the full um, part here. Now I'm going to 
keep talking, but I'm going to run this script for leases and you'll be able to see that it's running. Um, so I'm assuming you've already watched my previous video about setting up scopes and using the IP API and understand how to do that. Um, this script will not work if you don't have a functioning PHP IPAM. Um, now let's see here. So if I just minimize this out, you should already see some machines coming in and see they're already showing up down here. And if we come back here, you can see, I don't think you can see that. Let me bring that. So if I hit stop, you'll see, okay, this 1025, 231, 232. So if I go down there, So you can see all of these machines. So, right, all of these machines have been added to the system from, and it says imported from when. So if I come over here, right, you see it says imported from when. Now, I wanted to show you very quickly, if I rerun this, it should just go really fast because it's not having to run through each of these as it gets down to the bottom it's going to take a little time but see it's nothing's changing so it's not having to do the calculation and as you can see it's in seconds it's cutting through all of these IPs and in a moment here you should see that this scripting is going to come to a little bit of a slowdown. I think we're almost there. Um, let it run a few seconds more. And there we go. Yeah, it's already hitting the top end of all the scopes. So where you see those little it's adding machines there as it runs through each scope so we should be up to one minute mark here soon yeah and that's pretty much it so I'm probably can halt this now where am I uh, it's almost to the end and to show you the log so that's where the log file so see it did all of those subnets and that's pretty much it for that now if i go back over here i should see this subnet there's nothing in that one i think it's 239 yeah there it is so that's pretty much it uh well I hope this made understanding, uh, or not understanding, I hope that it made the demonstration of importing leases from MS Windows Server and putting them into PHP IPAM. Hopefully you like this and it works well for you. Um, and finally, I wanted to thank you for watching my video. And as always, please like and subscribe and add some comments of what you liked or what else you would like me to cover. Um, I've already had some people ask about the end map for or not a map for ipv6 uh, i'll probably try to make something where maybe you load a csv and of known ip6 and see if we can build something out for that uh, well again have a great day thank you for watching the video